If you thought it was tough to get a virtual boarding group for Guardians of the Galaxy or Rise of the Resistance, buckle up my friends, because Tron is gonna give you a light cycle run for your money. In today's video, we're gonna share every single trick we know to help you get one of those coveted boarding group slots for Tron when you're here at Magic Kingdom. Let's go do it. Hi ho everybody, this is Rob with Ear Scouts coming to you from the grand opening day of Tron Light Cycle Run here at Magic Kingdom. We just finished riding Tron twice on opening day and it's not even lunchtime yet. We're here in today's video to share every single tip we know to help you grab one of those coveted Light Cycle Run boarding groups. At the end of today's video, we're gonna show you what it's like to ride from different seats, whether you wanna ride during the day or at night, because these things can completely change the experience. If you're afraid of spoilers, don't worry. We're gonna hold it all until the very end and we'll let you know before we start. But before we get into where you should sit or when you should sit, we're gonna get on how do you even sit at all? Because this is one of the most competitive things to grab in all of Disney World right now. You can't just walk into Magic Kingdom and get in the line for Tron like you can any other ride in this park. Tron is a special case right now. You're going to have to have either what is called a virtual boarding group on the virtual queue, or you're going to need an individual attraction lightning lane. To get a chance to go for that virtual boarding group at 7 a.m., you have to have a park pass for Magic Kingdom. It won't let you try unless you have a park pass for that day for Magic Kingdom. You can't be park hopping in. You have to start your day at Magic Kingdom. Anyone can do it though. You don't have to be staying at a Disney Resort hotel. Everyone who has that park pass can try at 7 a.m. There is another chance if you're not successful at 7 a.m. at 1 p.m., but that one's a little different. Everyone who wants to ride has to have physically entered Magic Kingdom before 1 p.m. to try for that drop. So it's not enough to have a park pass. You have to have physically made it into the park for that second drop. Now, you can try for it from anywhere. As long as you've tapped in at Magic Kingdom, you could have left and you can still try for it, but you have to have tapped in at least once. Now, let's say you don't wanna try your luck with a virtual boarding group or you just want another chance. There is the individual attraction lightning lane. That is the third option, basically. So you got 9 a.m. drop, 1 p.m. drop. Your third option is going to be to purchase an individual attraction lightning lane. It costs $20 right now, that was the price today. That is per person for one ride on Tron, a whole minute and a half of roller coaster for 20 bucks per person. It is a steep price. It may go up as the parks are even busier than they are today. It may also go down a little bit if the parks are quieter, but plan on 20 bucks a person if you wanna do the individual attraction lightning lane. And there's an extra little wrinkle there you can only try for that lightning lane at 7 a.m. if you are staying at a Disney hotel or a qualifying Disney partner hotel. Right now, I think the only partners are Swan and Dolphin and Shades of Green. We'll put the full list up on the screen right now. If you don't have a stay at one of those hotels, then unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait until the park opens to try to get an individual attraction lightning lane. And guess what? there is a very good chance they're all gonna be gone when the park opens. There is a fourth and final way that you could potentially ride this ride, but it's even more complicated. For that, you've gotta be staying at a deluxe resort hotel. That is a different list. We're gonna put that up on the screen right now. If you're staying at one of these very fancy hotels and you are staying on a night where Magic Kingdom offers extended evening hours, so right now that's on Wednesday nights, so your stay either has to include a Wednesday or begin or end on a Wednesday, then you can come to extended evening hours. But even then, you have to have a park ticket for Magic Kingdom, or you have to have a ticket that allows you the park hopper option so that you can hop into Magic Kingdom. You'll need to physically enter Magic Kingdom before the six o'clock PM drop. It's gonna be just like the other virtual queue drops earlier in the day, but it's only gonna be limited to those folks staying at deluxe hotels who are badged in for extended evening hours here at the Magic Kingdom. So those are kind of our first two big tips. Number one, know the different ways you can ride. Number two, if you can swing it, get a Disney hotel stay. Even better if you can, get a Disney deluxe resort hotel stay 
on a Wednesday. Our next really big tip is to make sure that you or somebody in your group is getting up really early in the morning to get all the things set up that you need to get set up to have your best chance of getting on this ride. In order to show you frame by frame, screen by screen, all the things that we did to get ourselves set for the best possible chances of getting this ride today, we're gonna use the magic of editing to take you back in time to early this morning at Port Orleans. Let's go. Well, the official time is way too early o'clock. We're here a little bit before 7 a.m. at Disney's Port Orleans Resort. So why am I here in the middle of the courtyard of my resort? Well, the reason is because I wanna make sure I have got the best possible signal for getting the things I need to get this morning. Believe it or not, right at 7 a.m., there are going to be thousands upon thousands of people trying to get that at the exact same time. The most important thing, make sure you turn off your Disney Wi-Fi. The Disney Wi-Fi is not reliable at all. It is really flaky, especially when everybody's trying to access it at the same time to do something like booking their first lightning lanes of the day. What I recommend doing instead, use your cell phone signal, but also pay attention to your bars. Go somewhere where you have full signal. That's why I'm here in the middle of the courtyard, because I want to have the best possible cell phone signal. I know this seems crazy. I know it seems like we're going overboard, but trust me on this, you need every single advantage you can get when you're aiming for these incredibly competitive slots. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your main menu. You're gonna tap on virtual queues. Let's go ahead and get our virtual queue ready because that is the most important component of this. At the top, you'll notice that right now there are two tabs. There's one for Magic Kingdom, there's one for Epcot. Obviously, if we're having an Epcot day, we would wanna tap on Epcot and get ready for Guardians of the Galaxy, but we're not, we're doing Tron today. So we're gonna be on that Magic Kingdom tab, and then we're just gonna go ahead and confirm our party. This is where we let the app know everyone who's gonna be going with us on the attraction, you wanna have this set up now so you don't need to fiddle with it when it is time to grab that virtual boarding group. Once that's all set, we can go ahead and switch gears and get ready for our individual attraction lightning lane. And if you were doing Genie Plus, this is also where you get ready for Genie Plus. Head back into that main menu, tap on My Disney Genie Day. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the free Disney Genie service. And the reason we're gonna do that is because it's gonna allow us to pin certain rides to the top of our tip board screen. That's gonna make it so much easier to grab them really quickly right at the moment it turns seven o'clock. Go ahead and tap on that button that says get started now. First, it's gonna ask you what day it is, what park you're going to. It's gonna pre-select today and the park you have a reservation for. Once you select that, it's gonna ask you who is going with you. Make sure you select everyone that you're planning to buy an individual attraction lightning lane for it. At this point, it's gonna ask you what rides you're most interested in. If you're using Disney Genie Plus, you're gonna choose the one ride you're gonna be aiming for, the first ride you wanna book right at 7 a.m. And then you're also gonna to wanna to choose Tron. It's important that we get Tron up to the top of our tip board screen as well, because we're gonna need to grab that individual attraction lightning lane, and that's where we're gonna access it from. After that, it'll ask you what else you're interested in, princesses and things for right now. Go ahead and skip all of that. You don't wanna add anything else into your tip board at this time. So you can come back later in the day if you want and add in these other things. But for right now, we want a clean tip board with only the stuff that we are most interested in pinned right there to the top. My next really big tip for making sure you get on Tron when you are here at Magic Kingdom, you have got to do things in the right order. And this is the order that I recommend doing things if you're doing it by yourself. Now we'll talk a little bit later about doing this with friends, but if you're here by yourself, this is the order you should do things. First, you wanna do the thing that is going to be the most competitive. That is gonna be grabbing that Tron Light Cycle Run virtual boarding group. The reason is because everybody going to Magic Kingdom, whether they have Genie Plus or not, whether they're staying at a resort or not, 
all of them are gonna be aiming for that Tron virtual boarding group. That makes it the most competitive. The second most competitive thing is gonna be that Genie Plus Lightning Lane if you're using Disney Genie Plus. That one's not as competitive because not everyone is paying for Genie Plus and also everybody's gonna be aiming for different rides. So they're not all focused on one the way that they are with Tron. Third and finally would be that individual attraction lightning lane. The reason the individual attraction lightning lane is less competitive is because right at 7 a.m. the only folks who can aim for that are the ones staying at Disney Resort hotels. And then on top of that, not everyone is gonna be willing to shell out all the money it costs for those individual attraction lightning lanes. So that's why that is third most competitive and that is gonna be the third thing you should aim for. Having said that, what I absolutely recommend if you can swing it is getting a little bit of help from your friends. So this morning I did get a little bit of help from my friends. Eric was focused on getting that virtual boarding group while I focused on getting the individual attraction lightning lane. If we were using Disney Genie Plus, we'd probably want a third friend to focus on grabbing that, but we weren't today. So we were just going for those two. I'm gonna take you through what that process looked like for each of us. Keep in mind, if you're by yourself, you'd have to do these one at a time. So first, let's look at grabbing that virtual boarding group. A little bit before 7 a.m., you're gonna to wanna to head back into that main menu, tap on virtual queues, make sure you select Magic Kingdom, Tron. You've got everything set up from before, so you shouldn't need to fiddle with your party. At the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see a refresh button. You're gonna keep tapping on that refresh button like a crazy person until it turns seven o'clock on the dot. The reason that you wanna keep tapping is because you wanna tap in as soon as you possibly can because when it turns seven o'clock, that refresh button is going to turn into a button to join the virtual queue. It's gonna be in the exact same spot. So just keep tapping on that same spot. Don't miss a beat even when the button changes and then hopefully with any luck, it's gonna advance you to the next screen, which lets you know that you got a slot in that virtual boarding group. Now, if you didn't, don't worry, you're going to get another chance at this at one o'clock today, but we don't have time to miss a beat. We're gonna skip back over to trying to get that individual attraction lightning lane. That's what I was focused on this morning. I was focused on my tip board screen, which we had already set up so that Tron was right there at the top. What I did was I refreshed my screen starting a little bit before 7 a.m. and I kept refreshing until it hits 7 a.m. on the dot. You're gonna notice it is really slow to refresh. It is spinning, spinning, spinning. That's because so many people are trying to do this at the same time and it is just taxing Disney's server. That gives you an idea of how incredibly competitive this is. Even if it's a little slow to respond, just as soon as it's done refreshing, if it's not seven o'clock yet, you're gonna want to refresh again once it hits 7 a.m those buttons that have been grayed out will not be grayed out anymore you'll be able to tap into them and we're going to tap in to grab that individual attraction lightning lane for tron it's a little bit different getting individual attraction lightning lane than it is getting a genie plus lightning lane with genie plus you're always only offered the next available but with an individual attraction lightning lane you can choose the time that you want to book it for assuming there are multiple times left so we were early enough that there were lots of times available. I just wanted to get on early as quickly as possible because I wanted to make sure that we got on this ride today. You might want to consider aiming for one of those evening slots because it is kind of a different ride at night. It's kind of cool looking. We'll show you what that looks like later in this video. But I was just aiming for an early time because I wanted to make sure we got on. One thing I do want to note, if you tap into a time and it says that time is no longer available, you can do what I like to call playing the Disney Genie slot a little bit and what that basically means is we're gonna kind of refresh things and hope that the thing that we're aiming for comes back that happens a lot in this early morning period because lots of folks grab a time then they change their mind before they purchase it and they back back out so that time will come back into play if you were really aiming for a time and it was gone just keep backing up and going back in backing up and going back in. We did this the other day when we were getting a boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. So I can show you on the screen what that looked like. That said, in this case, I would recommend if you're somewhat happy with the time you got, go ahead, grab it, take it, because there's no telling what's gonna come back into the pot when you back into the other view. Well, we were super successful this morning. Eric was able to get us a great virtual boarding group slot. I was able to get us an individual traction lightning lane. So right now 
we're going to go get ready for our Disney World day, and we will see you back at Magic Kingdom. Welcome to Trout Light Cycle Ride. So we got some more tips we're gonna go over about what you should do when you ride Tron, but I have one more tip to help you get the opportunity to ride Tron, and that is do not take no for an answer. Just because you had no luck getting that individual attraction lightning lane first thing in the morning, doesn't mean it's not going to come back. Disney will sometimes sprinkle in some more individual attraction lightning lanes as the day goes on. So what I recommend doing Pin Tron to the top of your tip board screen. Every time you refresh, just keep an eye out because there may be some individual traction lightning lanes coming back into the pot as the day goes on. Our next tip, and this is a big one, for those of you who are used to arriving late for your lightning lane return times, maybe you come in late for that virtual boarding group over at Guardians of the Galaxy where they're all loosey-goosey. That is not gonna be the case here at Tron, at least early on. I've talked to the cast members, if you are not arriving in that return window, they are going to turn you away. They may, that is a key word there, may let you in in that 20 minute grace period that you get with Genie Plus Lightning Lanes, but there is no guarantee. And if you are outside of that 20 minute grace period, it is game over, my friends. There is just way too many people who wanna get on this ride. There's not enough capacity. So if you don't arrive on time, you are going to get your slot cut from the queue. Next up, I wanna talk about downtime for this ride. And I've actually got some good news and some bad news on this front. Let's start with the good news. The good news is because of the design of this ride and the canopy, this is one of the few coasters in Orlando that will run during a lightning storm. So most coasters and outdoor rides here at Disney World and all for at Universal, if there is lightning in the area, they have to shut down until the lightning has stopped. This coaster, not a problem. It will run rain or shine, lightning or no, this coaster is able to do it. So that is the good news. The bad news is it has been going down a fair amount. So. We've actually gone to three different early entry events. And for two of those three events, the coaster was down for at least part of our time at the event. So this ride does go down a fair amount. For that reason, I kind of suggest trying to get an earlier return time if you can, because that's gonna give you your best chance of riding it. Now that does conflict with my other suggestion, which is to try to ride at night because it's cooler at night. But if you just want to make sure you get on, probably you're safer riding earlier in the day because that way, if it does go down, you have more time to ride when it comes back online. The next thing I want to talk about is picking your seat because that's going to actually make a very big difference on this particular attraction. I'm gonna get into this in a lot more detail at the end of this video when we go through kind of that spoiler footage, but I just wanna give you the Cliff's Notes version. For those of you who aren't gonna watch the end, this is the really key points you're gonna to need to know. Number one, if you're a larger rider or you're a rider with really large calves or you just have mobility issues and you're able to ride the traditional light cycle seat, there is a special seat in the very back row. It is a traditional coaster seat and it will fit pretty much anybody who wants to ride. The good news is that's actually my favorite seat in the entire ride. So no worries, you can try out the test seat in front. If you're not able to fit on it, you're still gonna enjoy this ride. In fact, you might like it even more than the folks riding the traditional light cycle seats. If you're not gonna ride in that back seat, my second favorite option is basically towards the back of the train. My least favorite is the front row, and we'll get into that later in this video. Next up, I want to talk about how you can ride this ride more than once. If this is a once in a lifetime trip, you might not want to ride Tron just once. You might want to try to get on twice or even three times. So today we rode it twice. You can get that virtual boarding group either at 7 a.m. or 1 p.m. and then you can purchase that individual attraction lightning lane. You cannot get the virtual boarding group at 
both 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. It's an either or. You cannot get two, but you can purchase the individual traction lightning lane, and that's going to give you another ride. The only way you can get to ride that third time, however, you're going to have to stay at a Disney Deluxe Resort Hotel. You're going to have to be here on a day that there's extended evening hours, and then it will let you get that virtual boarding group in addition to one of the normal ones during the day. So that's the only way you can rack up three rides in one day on Tron. That is definitely going to be a super pricey day when you add in the Deluxe Resort Hotel, but you know what? If this is a once in a lifetime trip and this is the ride you're most excited about, it might just be worth it. Game begin. We have found a noisy little spot in the shade. You're hearing a lot of engine noise because we are right by Tomorrowland Speedway, but I wanted to sit and enjoy some of the digital food that's available for Tron. Yes, there is Tron food. So we're trying the watermelon refresher and the buffalo chicken digital dumplings. I guess if they're digital, does that mean there's not calories? That would be nice, but I'm thinking that might not be the case. I'm very curious about the dehydrated blue cheese crumbles. Oh, that has got some kick, y'all. It is definitely spicy. If you're not a fan of spicy food, you probably want to steer clear of this one. Not sure how I feel about the, the dehydrated blue cheese. I think I'm one of those very traditional guys who prefers my blue cheese fully hydrated, but to each his own. The watermelon refresher, on the other hand, I can definitely get behind. This is really hitting the spot right now. It sort of tastes like an icy with the flavor of a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Very sweet, but definitely cooling me off on this super hot day. So while we are cooling off for a moment, I want to talk about merch. And I know you're thinking, Rob, why do we care about merch? Why do we care about food? Well, merch, believe it or not, you've got to care about it because there is certain merchandise you can only buy if you reserve a slot to buy it in advance. I am not making this up. There's something called the Tron Identity Program. And if you wanna get one of these really cool action figures that's going to feature your face and your voice, you're going to have to reserve a time to have this experience. Because from what I understand, it's gonna be a full experience. Unfortunately, it's not working today, so. Opening day, folks, you had a reservation, sorry. You did not get to do the Tron experience today. But the Tron Identity Experience is gonna be a whole interactive thing. It's gonna take about 20 minutes. This is the core of what is the Tron Identity Program. So there's these identity chips that you can buy. You don't have to get a custom one. You can actually get identity chips that are of the different characters that appear in the Tron films. What this little chip is gonna do you can put it into other devices and it's going to allow that device to have little catchphrases that it'll play and different light sequences that it'll do. Basically like personalizing that device to either one of the Tron characters or to you if you use the Tron identity program that you have to book in advance. It is very competitive so far to get these slots. I looked to see if there was a slot available for the entire next week and there was not. So. The easiest way to get one of these slots if you want one, just go ahead and search the app for Tron and it'll pop up right at the top, the Tron Identity Program. Tap in there. It's gonna ask you what days you're gonna be at Disney World and you kind of put in that whole range and it'll let you know if there are any times available. When I looked ahead to May, there were some slots available. So this is one of those things you're gonna to wanna to plan out in advance. But once you have this identity chip, you can use it with more than just your action figure. So we checked out all the different merchandise in the store this morning and there is a lot of Tron merchandise. There's your traditional stuff, your t-shirts, your jackets. They had water bottles, there were mugs, pins of course. There was even a vintage identity disc, which is actually a Frisbee. I thought that was kind of cute. But the modern identity disc, the, the new identity disc, this guy, it's heavy and it's a little expensive. It's got a Bluetooth speaker built into it. This disc is designed so that when you put your identity chip into it, either your personalized one or the one of one of these characters, the Bluetooth speaker can play different custom phrases. It lights up with different patterns. It interacts with things. You can then take this identity disc and put it on the backpack that is sold separately so that you can keep your identity disc on your back just like they do in the movie. You can also take your identity chip 
and put it into other toys that they have, like a remote-controlled light cycle. There's a lot going on with this Tron Identity Program. There's a lot of upsells involved, so if you want the whole system, it's probably gonna cost you a pretty penny. So now we've covered merch. It is time for the moment many of you have been waiting for. We have ridden this ride, I don't even know how many times at this point, probably like 15 times. We wrote it during cast previews, we wrote it during annual pass holder previews, we did a D23, which is a Disney fan club, we did a preview event, so we have ridden this ride from pretty much every seat you could ride it on, and we're gonna kinda give you our sense of the best times to ride and the best places to ride. As we said before, our favorite place is actually to ride in that back seat. We were very concerned early on. It seemed like you were gonna have to wait a long time for that back seat. It seemed to have a, a long wait, but lately, here today, opening day, both times I went on, there was no wait at all to get on that back seat. Every other train has a traditional coaster seat in the rear. This is designed to accommodate folks who have larger calves maybe that can't fit in the traditional seat, but it's also just a great seat for a really good view of this coaster experience because this is by far, in my opinion, the best way to experience all of Tron. If you haven't ridden it all before and you can ride one of the traditional seats, maybe you should do that just to get the official Tron experience. But if you're gonna ride more than once, I love the back seat. We're just gonna show you kind of really quickly a back-to-back side-by-side. This is what it looks like when you are riding sort of in that tunnel vision when you're in the cycle. But then look at your view when you're in that back seat. It's just a huge difference. The other thing that's important to note is the front seat is not that great because look at this view where we're riding a few seats back. You'll see we see so much more that's going on with the train in front of us. We miss out on all of that when we ride in that front seat because all that's going on behind us. Normally, I love riding in the front seat of coasters. I'm a big front seat proponent. In this coaster, I don't love it. That said, if you want to ride in the front seat, there is a dedicated line. You can wait in line for that front seat. It's not like a special thing that they do. You can just ask for it and you get in that line. It's easy peasy. But I just don't recommend getting in that line. I don't think it's worth it. I think the further back you are, the better your experience is. The other thing it's important to talk about is night versus day. When you come out to that outside spin, it is very different at night. There's just a different feel. It feels more like it matches the indoor experience, which I like. I like that you can see the light show that's happening on the canopy, but again, you see more of that light show the further back you are, especially if you're in that very back seat. We're gonna leave you guys with some extended footage of the full Tron light cycle run experience, but if you enjoyed this video, if it helps you get one of those coveted slots on the virtual queue, let us know in the comments down below. Give this video a like because it helps our channel so much when you guys do that. And hey, subscribe to this channel and ring that bell so you'll be notified whenever new videos like this come out. Until next time, don't forget to think happy thoughts, everybody. We'll see you again real soon.